So this is a, uh, a Train XV 90 HVAC system. Uh, I've lost my HVAC system about a few, well, a few days ago, and uh, the blower is not starting. So we can go here on the uh, on the main board for the the temperature controls and and all that stuff, and uh, we can see that the fan signal is on that red LED on the fan but we're not getting any uh, the blower is not starting and this is the main board for the actual fan and uh, and the uh, the gas and everything so that's the main board here and it looks like it's working fine you can see that red LED there that's flashing that's a diagnostic light if you look at the back of the panel here see if uh, see if I can get a picture of this oops see on the back of this panel when you turn it the right way you've got the diagnostic light and it tells you all the uh, the possible errors so I'll take that it's a flashing low and it says normal call for heat no call for heat so that's what's happening because I've got no heat demand it's just a fan the fans not going so it's not getting a call for heat but it sh the fan should be running everything else looks good but I gotta admit um, I didn't know where to go so I did buy an, another board online even though I didn't think it was going to be the board but I still bought one and found and just gave it a shot and uh, just as I thought it was not the board so that's when I started googling up on the uh, on the blower issues and I found a website uh, where tons of people were complaining about similar problems with these, these blowers and it's a common problem with train and uh, carrier so uh, and these and the, the carrier blowers the, the, the motors if you buy a new one it can go uh, over a thousand bucks for the train they seem to be a little cheaper but still it, we're talking about 500 bucks still and if it's if it's the same problem it's a three dollar part that you can get online and uh, the part is a thermistor and a thermistor, a thermistor from what I understand is just basically a variable resistance and uh, the resistance increases as the uh, the temperature of the uh, little thingy increases so basically it's kind of a throttle valve when there's too much current uh, the, the thermistor thermistor's temperature starts to increase and uh, it uh, it increases the the resistance so basically it uh, it prevents an overcurrent so if that's what it is like i said it's a three dollar part instead of a six six hundred or maybe a, over a thousand dollars if it's a carrier motor so we'll give it a shot that's the uh that's the motor in the back there and uh and we'll uh we'll give it a shot we'll take this whole thing out i'll show you how to take all this thing out all these things out and uh and how to replace that thing and we'll see if it works all right so now comes the important part the part that we need to take a lot of pictures of just in case we screw up um, we're gonna take this board out and in order to take the board out we've got let's see one screw there another one there so that's two three four five and a sixth one there but before we do this we need to disconnect a few cables I'm gonna leave the bottom ones here I'm gonna leave them connected the small ones because I think I can just move the board aside without having to mess around with those this is the main ribbon the, the which controls the speed on the variable speed blower variable speed uh, yeah variable speed blower and uh, that's you can just pull that one right out those ones are easy because they only go one way so we don't need to worry too much about those you just pull those right out this one this one the bottom one and this one the ones that we need to be careful about are those ones the ones that hook up individually and uh, they're marked so uh, the top one is the top one here is one white you can see there's one on the wire and then the actual number 
7, we can't see it, but there's a number 7. So it goes from white 1 and then white 7. The other two slots are not hooked up in my case, but if they're, if they're hooked up in your case, you got to write them down. And then the black ones here, these are the, uh, the hot wires. And I think the order is, uh, I've got a drawing, so the order is 4, 6, no, that'd be wrong. Let's see. Let's see a four. No, that's a seven. All right. So the order is four from top to bottom. Four, six, seven, and one. Four, six, seven, and one. In fact, here's the actual drawing. These are the connectors right there. So from top to bottom, four, six, seven, and one. So I'm going to make sure that that's what they are, so we see the four is right there. So each cable, like I said, is is marked, so it shouldn't be too bad. So those those are pretty much the only cable that I really need to be careful about. The other ones are pretty straightforward. So we'll disconnect these cables and then we'll pull the board out and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. Next, we will take the transformer out. Uh, all we got is a couple of screws here. One here, one here. It's a little hard to reach, but I guess you just got to be patient and uh, take them out. So that's the next step. So I've taken off the, uh, the transformer and the main board. So now the next step is to remove this guy, this whole panel here. But you can see we've got a few uh, grains to disconnect. We'll disconnect it here. And then we've got another one here. And we have another one here. Oops. So one here that goes underneath and the back. And uh, I guess we could disconnect it. No, we'll disconnect it from there. And then one here and then one here. Now, not too sure what's the trick to get those ones out, but I've uh, I've taken one out before and it's uh, I just jerked around with it until I got it out. Those tie wrap type, type of things. So, uh, in order to take this unit out, all we gotta do is take those two screws. You got a screw here and we've got another screw there. A couple of screws here on top but we don't need to take those out because they hold this bracket and uh, what we're gonna do let's see if I can put the flashlight here somewhere All right, All right that's better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, this and this screw out from the bottom and once they're out we're gonna pull down on this because they're hooked up, see a couple of latches and, and a sleeve there. And there's another one over there. We can't see it, but those things over there, and there's another one, they'll slide right out. So once we got those two screws out, we can pull this thing down and then we can pull the whole unit backwards. And it should come right out. So of course we gotta disconnect all the hoses before, and we're gonna do that. So I've taken off all the front parts. They're all here. Bit of a mess, but I've put them off out of the way. The, the drain there. Disconnected this. And now we can clearly see the fan. And all it is, let's see if I can show this. So you've got one nut there, or not a nut, but a screw. And in the back there's slots, so you got one of those on each side. You take those out and you should be able to slide the fan right back, right out. You should slide on those slots over there in the back. Uh, let's see, can we see them here as well? Yeah, so one screw and, and the slots over there. That should be it. So we're getting there. So I have finally taken out the fan, the blower, 
and that's the motor and presumably the uh, the faulty part is in here and um, that can easily be taken out taken off by those two screws here those two nuts you don't need to remove any of those they don't do anything they well they they hold some stuff in there but you don't need to take them off all you gotta do is take those two off and uh, it should come right out make sure you don't mess around with those for no reason and I'll just do it here on the Conveniently had the right sleeve for it. Okay, so taking those two out, and uh, should be able to just pull that right out. A little tighter, and then you got a cable here with a connector. All you got to do is. Uh, pull that connector out there's a clip here and uh, that should be it I don't know if we can see Wait. be patient <sighs> flashlight died All right. Come on. so yeah we can see better now so that's the only connector you gotta take out with a pin so it should come right out alright so I have taken the uh, the motor module out and moved it to a uh, a better location so we can see it better so you get a couple of screws here now first let's look at the uh, the actual problem that's the uh, thermistor you can see that it's been clearly burnt and uh, that's what the problem is and we'll take the whole uh, the board out by removing this screw here and there's another screw here somewhere in the back here and there's also a plastic pin holding that thing down so uh, we'll take the uh, we'll stop the video again <clears throat> and uh, we'll take the whole board out and then I'll remove the, uh, the thermistor alright see you later so I have taken the thermistor off you can see those two things and that's that's what it was and the model if you can read this but this SG 379 for this model for this pump and I found this replacement online it seems bigger but I found this replacement online I've googled up the old model and uh, this seems to be a uh, can we read it this seems to be a replacement, a perfect match. Well, let's see. There, there you go. SL32. One uh, R zero thirty. That's one ohm, thirty amps. So I'm gonna put that in there, and uh, we'll see you later. And there it is. Hopefully, I did it. A good enough of a job. Hopefully it'll last. Part around. Seems to be pretty sturdy there. So I'll start wrapping things up and uh, and putting everything together. We'll find out if it works. So I am done putting everything together. We'll just double check everything. I've got the board back. Again, we said it was white one and then white seven on the top, first top, two on the top. And then we said it was going to be uh, four, six, seven, and one for the black ones. And these cables look good reconnected that ribbon and the power so on the right we've got the uh, the variable speed controller and then on the left we've got the actual power supply and uh, fuse here 5 volt fuse and let's see the transformer everything looks good these are still hooked up so we've got the uh, the drain here 
is back up. This one is connected again. This one is good. Let's see, am I forgetting anything? We've got the gas valve, the automatic gas valve, and oh, I gotta turn this guy on. Oops, let's stick. So that's the manual gas valve. So we should have everything. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. See if it blows up in my face, live. Well, maybe not live, but... <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to turn the breaker on. Cross your fingers. Dampers are open. The valve signals on, but I'm not hearing any fan yet. So I'm, oh, the, I've got the uh, the interlock here. I got scared for a while. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Yay! Fan is working. It's a success. It's not blowing up in my face yet. Hey, I just saved a bunch of money, and I didn't even go to Geico. So, all right, I think it's a success. We're done.